Hey guys, Clay Pro here and today we are going to be talking on how to turn your Windows laptop into a Wi-Fi hotspot. Without any further ado, let's get started! But before getting started, I would like to mention that this method works in any machine running Windows XP and up, including Windows 8.1. So, let's get started setting up a hotspot for your laptop. I promise you guys, it is very easy. And I'll show you step by step how to do it. Hit the start button. And type control panel. Then click on the first icon that appears on the list. After the control panel windows has opened, click the network and sharing center to see the internet connection that is already running. I remind you guys that this trick works for Wi-Fi and WLAN connections, so you can set a hotspot from your laptop using the Wi-Fi connection or the LAN connection. Next, what you'll need to do is to click on the change adapter settings. As you can see here are all the hardware and the virtual connections that your laptop is connected to. For the moment, I am just connected to my Wi-Fi network and I haven't created any hotspot yet, as I can be seen from the wireless connections. So let's try to set it up together step by step. Click on start button on the right corner of the display and tap the following. Right click the CMD and then run as administrator. Then the command prompt should pop up. To see if your Wi-Fi card supports the hotspot feature, you have to type the following on the command prompt. Then enter. If you scroll a bit up, you can see the hosted network supported feature is showing yes. That indicates that the Wi-Fi card is capable of creating hotspot. Let's continue with the next step of creating the hotspot. Type the following on your command prompt. Note, you can change the SSID name to your desired hotspot name. In my case, I have named my hotspot as Clyde Pernet. In addition, the key represents the password of the hotspot that we are creating. In my case, the password is start12345, then hit enter to set up the hotspot with the given parameters. I don't know if you noticed, but on the control panel, a virtual Wi-Fi connection was created named as Wireless Network Connection 8. In your case, the name might be different, but don't worry as it is assigned automatically from Windows. The next step is to start the hotspot that we created by typing the following. On the control panel, it is showing as identifying. Let's open and see the wireless connections. That means that the hotspot has no internet connection, so what we need to do is to share our current connection with the hotspot that we created.
In order to do that, you need to right click on the current connection and then properties. Then go to Sharing tab and click on the Allow Other Network Users to connect through this computer's internet connection. Then click the drop down menu to select the virtual Wi Fi which hosts the hotspot, in my case the wireless network connection 8. Then click OK. As you can see for the wireless network connections, the hotspot has internet and is ready to be used, so let's try to connect my phone with it. On the Wi-Fi connections, I'm already connected to my home Wi-Fi, but I will disconnect and try to connect to the hotspot that we just created. The password is the same. Start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As you can see, we're connected, so let's test it by opening some websites. As you can see, it works fluently without any problems and the speed is very good. If you would like to close the hotspot that we just created, then go to Command Prompt or CMD and type the following. In order to terminate the hotspot, you have to stop and then to disable the virtual wireless network. So that is for the tutorial guys and if you learned something new, go down below and hit the thumbs up button. If you find this video helpful, share it with anyone who you think can benefit. Don't forget to subscribe to your channel. Till next time.